All right, howdy everybody. Bobby Brown out on the range. We're losing our sunlight fast. It's been a great day of shooting. I hope everybody out there's had a great day. I dug deep into the safe and today I got out my Colt. Um, this is the mystery pistol. I do have a video or two already on this video on this pistol. Um, this was my granddaddy's gun. And before I show it to you, I'm going to read this letter. I tried to contact the Colt Archive Department with the serial number of this particular pistol and see if I could figure out what year it was manufactured. And it says this letter is in reference uh, to your request for your historical documentation on your Colt Pocket Positive Revolver serial number, da, 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 da. We regret to advise you that you that we are unable to locate any information on this particular firearm. Uh, the record on it was evidently lost or destroyed many years ago. Although we did spend time in this research effort, we have decided to waive any charges at this time. Thank you for contacting, blah, blah, blah. That's very cool. And this is all a repeat of the video that I made uh, years ago, because this is dated 2013. But it is very cool that you can go to Colt Archive and pay 50 bucks and they'll research an old weapon like that for you. But they had no luck at all researching mine. And here it is. Um, it is a very sweet little Colt pearl handled 32 long Smith & Wesson. It's actually chambered for the long ones. I am currently firing the Smith & Wesson. 32 in it which really just amounts to a 32 short and you see it clearly doesn't quite fill the cylinder and it's no harm firing it I don't think in fact I would think it would be easier on the old gun from what I can understand from reading uh, forums and archives I've gone crazy trying to figure out uh, this little gun I think it is a 1922 model. The blue is completely wore off. The trigger is so smooth, it's it's like butter. And uh, it does have a little little chip right here. But other than that, it's in perfect working order. And I hardly ever get it out of the safe. And I certainly hardly ever fire it. Uh, but I'm going to fire it now. Uh, one more interesting thing about the little weapon is it says right here on the barrel, if you look real close, it says 32 police. It doesn't say 32 police positive. It doesn't say what some of the forums that I read said that it should say. <laughs> so to me, it's still a mystery pistol. I love it dearly. Um, there was one great YouTuber named Shep57, 1957. I don't know if you guys remember him. He was great. He suggested that it might have been a lunchbox gun. Somebody might have actually taken the parts from the Colt factory and kind of put it together themselves. So who knows? But here she goes. I also have a neat little holster I'm going to show you. I'm going to step out in front of the camera. holster with a snap pretty cool fits very snug so here we go let's take a couple shots with this bad boy i'll tell you what i'll go into defensive mode i'm not going to try to draw from this holster because it's very snug i'm just going to draw from the ready Now that was too easy. Recoil is very minimal with the uh, 32 Smith & Wesson. And look at that. Right in the kill zone is exactly what I wanted. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to try to go for a head shot. I'll step on this side of the camera.
Did you see that? Did you hear that? Wow. That could have been a squib squib situation here. That was weird. It just kind of squirted it through the cardboard. Holy shit. But I got one of them right in his eye. I think the squib shot is this one. As you can see, there's some gunpowder or something spewed all over it. That was really strange, folks. Really strange. But there again, a very accurate, a very accurate little pistol. Um, I'm going to try to shoot these other other two off here. Like I said, it's not often I shoot this thing. I'm kind of scared to shoot it fast now after that happened. Okay, let's line that thing up so that the cylinder turns clockwise. Here we go. Yeah, I think that old ammunition's about had it. Wow. Just the same, though. I mean, you can't argue with the results. The gun is plenty accurate. Um, and if I put some Smith & Wesson Long in there, it had a little bit more zip. Maybe even the gunpowder would ignite. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bobby Brown, Guns and Drums. A special little pistol.